So this was a pretty fun show to go to. There was a wide variety of dealers, about 100 tables in general. I saw a lot of raw singles, uh, mostly obviously some vintage baseball here, but I also did see some modern football and basketball. One thing I do like about local shows, this one in particular, was there's a ton of value bins to go through, so I was able to go and look through cards with that. And if you're a big wax fan, there's a ton of sellers selling a ton of boxes. And you guys can see a little bit of the variety of the cards here at the show on the screen right now. I miss when people thought he was good. We're gonna do this lot right here for four hundred dollars, a mixture of both modern and vintage high grade. So you have people like Joe Adele, one of the top rookies from this class of tribute. Then you also have like a '56 Roy Campanella, and you of course also like this Clemente. What really makes this lot cool is there's some eights. They're common players, but they're from the 60s. And the thing that makes eight special, you can see this right here, is there's a lot of set builders in the vintage community. Grading is really expensive right now at at least $50 to $100 each, and people want eights for their sets. So I can move these on different Twitter sales of people that are trying to complete their sets in the mid 60s. I'm here with a friend from Harmon's Facebook group, Mark. He's showing me two cards that he has in his PC that are really unique, things that you don't see often at shows. I love these two cards I wanted to show you guys today. I have one of the Black Swamp Fine cards. It's a 1910 caramel card, Hannes Wagner, SGC7. The cool thing about this card is that if you look at the SGC pop reports on it, the total population across all grades is six cards. You, know, you can't find this card anywhere in the seven. I think it's beautiful. And then we have a really cool 1929 Rogers Hornsby. Again, very low pop card. This, I think, is a pop of five or six also as a PSA four. They love these kind of cards. They're not making new ones like this ever again. And coming across these is a once in a lifetime thing for me and they're so much fun to find. All right, I'm here with another YouTuber at the show, J-Mac, he's actually a dealer. So how's the show been treating you so far today? How's the North Carolina show scene? It's been good, man. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you, number one. This show has been super steady. Like sometimes, you know, it, it comes in waves where it'll be, you know, not a lot of traffic in the morning or in the, in the evening. There's been people here steady stream all day long. A little bit smaller venue, but uh, this is my first time setting up at this show. It's not really good. I, I made a couple pretty uh, big trades and moved a couple cards that have been sitting in my case for a while. The car show is exploding here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. It's almost a show. I would say twice a month there's a show. Hickory's a big show, in, which is up. It's about an hour up from uh, Charlotte. What are you thinking? Yeah, you, got a, you got it. What's in your mind? Do you have a number in your mind? Yeah, I was looking at like 225. 225? Yep. So price point on the Griffies you have what? 40 to 80. 40 to 80, so this was always at like 60. Okay, the Lawrence carry at 60, so 40 to 15 inch. 15 on those. 40 to 5 and it's a Taylor. 5 and it's a Taylor, where you be out price wise? 175. 175. Would you do 150? 160. 160. Yeah, let's finish out this deal. We got this for $160. Headlined by two Griffey rookies. People love Ken Griffey Jr. First card in the 89 Upper Deck release. And we got some good football cards as well. LOA rookie. We have Barry Sanders rookie. A few other rookies in here as well. Dickerson. Drew Brees. But pretty much a full on bulk lot, which I'll be able to sell. I'm here with Peter and he just found a fake Babe Ruth. Someone tried selling it over here at the show. So tell me about the story a little bit. 48 Leaf rookie that came in with a screw down holder. The guy bought it for 400 bucks. It was uh, it was about as fake as can be. It had biter veins on it. The back was uh, discolored. Uh, the print was way off. And uh, it's a shame that it kind of happens like that here at these shows sometimes. More fast pickups here at the show. First off, a 1964 Maze Aaron as a PSA 6. And then, got the 84 Don Mattingly, but this is an OP Chief. 
All right, so show is done. It was a lot of fun. How did you do today, Jordan? I don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but it's uh, Islam Mahachev. Probably butchered that. Uh, but I got eight of these. I paid a dollar fifty each, and they sell for twenty dollars a piece on eBay, raw and graded. I'm not sure, but they all look pretty good. So I, I'm just going with UFC, and, and I got this uh, Star Wars board card with an uh, emblem uh, from one of the movies. I just threw that in the deal along with some uh, some Marvel stuff. Uh, there's more Islam and a bunch of Cleveland cards for my PC. Briefcase everywhere. The, the other funny thing with that, you, you gotta watch the videos and cards of it. So we're here with Paul at trade night. He picked two cards for my box. 1968 Tops Roberto Clemente and a 97 Bowman Best Refractor Fred McGriff. In return, I'm getting a Tom Brady rookie, which is this one right here. And then also a Deion Sanders from score is 8.5. Discounted price we're gonna do it at, but if you would like to pack war with us, it's $3. You will get a pack out of this box. Then we will I'll open our, we'll say a stat like most career home runs or tallest player or shortest player. Everyone looks through their packs. Whoever wins gets all the cards. And if you lose, you're only out the $3 you spent on the pack. Oh, you know what? Let's do it for the two. Most career doubles. So over your pack, whatever player has a card with most career doubles. Pack right here, we're looking for most career doubles from Topps Update. Let's see. So first, we have a rookie of Chisholm. That's not gonna do it. We have a pitcher, Evan White, Logan Allen. Not looking good so far in this pack. Our best might be Jose Altuve. I'll put that over here in the box. We're on Altuve. I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm in AJ cards. He just got my Acuna Heritage Refractor. So I picked this up a long time ago and I got a bulk lot of cards. You guys are about to check this out right now. Yeah. Made a deal with Michael, sold some of the inventory that I picked up at this week's show and also last week. So we made this bulk lot for $160. Check it out. Sweet. Some Acuna. Appreciate it. All right, so didn't think this box was gonna be worth putting on the vlog. Well, what did you just hit? Okay, guys. So I was gonna just give this away to a little kid. I won it at a raffle at a trade night, and uh, I didn't even know that these products had autographs in them. But then I saw a redemption, and I flipped it around, and I saw Jalen Green, which I'm already happy with that. And uh, Jalen Green's one of the top prospects, and this is a black, Mosaic Scripts black. Pretty sure this is a one of one uh, based off of all of our research and uh, Chronicles autographs. Pretty sure this is a Jalen Green black one of one autograph. I, I have no words. So last night we were doing some research for Moneyball cards. If you don't know, Jordan and I have a podcast on that channel where every week we look into the data. I'm gonna show you guys on the screen right now a little bit of the Buster Posey research that we conducted. Also, we're taking a look at a stat called VORP from basketball. So what is VORP? Oh, it's value over replacement player. It's kind of like war, except with basketball. So you have, if you get a zero, that means you are basically a replacement player. So anything over that is is your value over a replacement player. So like LeBron is, he's got the highest warp of all time that I've seen, and it's like eleven. So you you have other all star players get like five, and then regular players get zero. Years or three times in four years, and got beat by John Elway every single time. Wow. So, if you ever heard that John Elway drove 98 yards, uh, 
that was to beat the the Browns in the AFC Championship game in the final two minutes. And I was making a deal with someone and talking about how the World Series adds about a 30% value to cards because there's no comps uh, since the Braves won the World Series. So I got the 30% value added on top of a card I was trying to move and was able to leverage a trade, which this is the main piece in that. So I was pretty excited to use one channel's information and then implement it towards the card show vlog. And that's a wrap for the Charlotte card show. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Next weekend's a local show in Clearwater, followed by Minnesota the next weekend.